It's not fair. Stuck at home another day. I am so bored. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. Since I'm stuck at home and you're stuck at home, why don't we have an Easter egg hunt together? Here's how it's going to work. There are colored Easter eggs hidden at your house. Some of them have treats in them, but some of them have pictures from the Easter story. When you find all of the eggs, open them up with your family. While you're eating some of the treats, see if you can put the pictures in the right order. It's okay if you don't get it right the first time. We'll figure it out together. Are you ready? When I count to three, pause the video. I'll see you again when you're all done. Easter extravaganza in three, two, one, pause. Nice job. You found all the Easter pictures. Let's see if you know what order they go in. Hold up what you think is the first picture. I'll give you a second. Are you holding it up? Okay, good. Let's see if you're right. Is this the picture you picked? If not, that's okay. Put this picture into square number one. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the king of everything. One day, as Jesus was entering the city of Jerusalem, his disciples brought him a donkey to ride on. As Jesus was riding through town, a big crowd of people gathered around him. The people spread their coats and palm branches on the ground in front of Jesus. At that time, that's how people welcomed kings and heroes. Altogether, they shouted out to Jesus, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Okay, we're ready for the next picture. Hold up what you think is picture number two. Go ahead. I'll wait. Are you holding it up? Okay, let's see if you're right. Is this the picture you're holding up? If so, great job! Put this picture onto square number two. Days later, Jesus gathered his 12 disciples together for a special dinner. While they were eating, Jesus told them some shocking news. One of them, a disciple named Judas, was going to have Jesus arrested. Nevertheless, Jesus took a loaf of bread. He tore off some pieces and gave them to his disciples. Then he said, when I'm gone, this bread will remind you of my body, which is going to be broken for you. Then he took a cup filled with red wine. He gave it to his disciples and said, this drink will remind you of my blood, which is going to be poured out for you so that the bad things you do can be washed clean. Okay, it's time for our next picture. Hold up what you think is picture number three. Go ahead, hold it up really high. I'll give you another second. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. Is this the picture you're holding up? If not, don't worry about it. Put this picture onto square number three. After dinner, Jesus took his disciples to a place called the Garden of Gethsemane. In the garden, Jesus started to feel really upset. He knew he was going to die soon. So he prayed to God and said, Father, if you want, make my pain and sadness go away. But do what you want, not what I want. Moments later, Judas appeared, but he wasn't alone. He brought soldiers with him. And just as Jesus had said, Judas betrayed him. The soldiers grabbed Jesus. They arrested him and they dragged him away to jail. I think it's picture time again. Hold up what you think is picture number four. There's only two pictures left. I know you've got this. Okay, are you ready? Here it is. Is this the picture you're holding up? 
If so, way to go! Put this picture onto square number four. The next day, Jesus was taken to court. He was innocent. He hadn't done anything wrong, ever. But the people in the crowd didn't believe Jesus. They didn't think he was the son of God or the king of anything. So they shouted for Jesus to be punished. Crucify him, they shouted, which means put him to death. And that's what they did. First, they nailed one of his hands to the cross. Then the other hand. Then they nailed his feet to the cross. And Jesus hung there until he died. Even though it was daytime, the whole sky turned dark as night. It was as if the earth itself wept for its maker, King Jesus. After Jesus died, one of his friends took him off the cross. He put his body in a tomb and rolled a giant stone in front of the opening. It was the saddest day ever. But it didn't stay sad. Okay, it's time for our last picture. I know you can do this. There's only one picture left. So go ahead and hold up what you think is picture number five. I'll give you zero seconds because it's that easy. Is this the picture you're holding up? If not, something has gone terribly wrong. Put this picture onto square number five. Three days later, some women went to see the tomb. When they got there, there was a powerful earthquake. Then an angel of God came down from heaven and rolled back the big stone. He said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus. But he is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. The women were so happy. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. But suddenly, while they were running, Jesus appeared to them. It was a miracle. Jesus was alive. Easter is the best day ever. Not because of the candy or the Easter eggs, but because we get to celebrate that Jesus is alive. When Jesus died on the cross, he washed clean all the bad things that we do. But now, he is alive and in heaven. And if you love and follow Jesus, you can live with him forever in heaven too. That is the good news of Easter. You see, being stuck at home isn't so bad. I had so much fun with you. So here's my challenge. Now that you have the story pictures in order, glue them down. Then take turns telling the Easter story to your family. And when you finally get to see your friends again, tell it to them too. Until then, have a happy Easter. Uh, I'm so bored again. What should I do? We. Hi. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, that's better.